So now let's take a look at all the parts that we're going to need and also how we're going to line all this stuff up. Again, it's not obvious, but uh, by now if you work with custom designs, you can pretty much understand how you want to do this. Um, so this tail cone measures 50 millimeters, uh, and that's from the end all the way up to the shoulder. Now notice this shoulder is going to be inside the body tube, so we have to account for that. We also want to have the engine mount tube sticking out. So if this is 50 millimeters, this is going to be a total of 52. So we have to have our engine ring, a spacing ring, a spacer, right about here. And I'm going to make that about three millimeters in back of the shoulder. So therefore, from the end of the tube, this first ring is going to be about 55 millimeters back. We then are going to have our second ring, which is going to be somewhere around here. So this is going to be very unusual that we're going to have the two uh, centering rings very far back on the engine mount tube. And again, that's why you don't get a lot of instructions with these, because it depends on how you want to build it. Um, we can then see that we need, are going to put our engine hook in, and that's going to stick out probably a little bit beyond the engine mount tube like this. And we can see we want to put our aft centering ring right over the end of this. And the last thing is the engine clip retainer, which is going to go right about here. And that's going to grip onto this. So these are all the different places that we're going to have these different parts. And um, again, it's, uh, if, you, if you think about all these pieces that go together, uh, this is going to be sticking out now about 50 millimeters or so. And then we're going to have to put glue on all this stuff and stick it all in at the same time, make sure every stay, everything stays aligned. Uh, that's going to be a little bit difficult to do. So I'm going to talk about that in my next video. Uh, just one thing in preparing the tail cone, there's two things I'm going to do. There's this little tab on here. You need to slice the tab out, and that's where your engine hook is going to be so that your engine hook can come through your cone, and you have a way to get the engine out. So again, this gets sliced off. Then I'm going to sand the whole thing because I want to do that so I can paint it later. Um, so that's basically it. I'm going to go ahead now and start getting this all put together.